Alright guys, how you doing? Zed Head Motor Vlogs here. Okay, so one of the issues that uh, I could see by the bike, and I'm going to pan in a wee bit here, <clears throat> was the bracket that holds the rear brake light switch. It's kind of like a chemical bond that's on the back of it, which is quite common to, to go because it's quite a, quite a thin wee bracket and it breaks, so... A workaround has been like the chemical bond, so <clears throat> as you can understand, um, I'm wanting to replace that and make everything good. Um, when you look at the likes of the bolt heads and stuff like that as well, it's all looking just a wee bit, a wee bit tired there and there. Still get what looks like the original. A brake line that goes in to the in there to the Tikiko rear brake at the back. So my solution was to go online and look for a replacement. And basically, what I was looking for, I was looking for a replacement rear or a foot hanger, right hand side foot hanger. And when I went on to eBay, this is what I found. So as you can see here, everything that you've just seen on the bike, I got this for 35 quid in a job lot. Uh, it's fully complete. It's actually still got fluid in the rear uh, master uh, brake reservoir, which uh, we're, we're going to strip and we're going to clean down. But more importantly, it has, and get that in focus, uh, it has the bit, the bracket with the switch, spring, everything is a direct replacement. It also has this uh, piece of plastic which is missing off the bike, which basically the rear brake line runs through. And it's actually got an HEL brake line as well, and rear caliper. But I'm going to leave the original caliper on the bike and I'm going to... Uh, do a full brake seal uh, restoration on this so as I've got this sitting spare. So that's uh, that's what's happening. So I'm going to take this uh, apart piece by piece. Taking into consideration that this looks as if it's come off a fairly new bike. Um, new in the sense that my bike's 27 years old, so as new as uh, it can be. So you'll see there, the heads are showing a wee bit of signs of rust, but we shall uh, get into them with a wire brush and we'll get them back up to get them back up to a standard. I'm not sure whether that's an aftermarket heel plate or not. Um, I may put the, the other heel plate that's in. Press the spring clips, which should in turn remove that and take that off. Now, that spring clip isn't that bad, but it's off now and it will not begin back on. Press from the other side and unrest over the hose. I'll actually try and get the clip up. Just 
struggle, but we got there. So again, another tidy as we go. WD-40 and just go over the reservoir I have a Nick Bean nylon plastic brush which I'm just going to get into the cap and the bottle itself Gently raising the level of the gently raising the level of the Nice and clean. So what we'll do is, is we'll uh, clean the, the inner and outer um, hose that goes on to the serves no purpose whatsoever cleaning other than you know that you've done it and it will look and be better for it. <laughs> and imagine this outer tube is just basically a sort of protection against um, the hose that goes to the, the reservoir from chafing on parts of the bike when it's moving so the good thing about doing this is when you take the bike out and you get all dirty again that's the best bit so there you have the hose clean the reservoir clean and the uh, outer sleeve clean as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to check what size these replacements have to be of obviously various sizes I think the ones that I've chosen straight off the the back may be correct, maybe. I'm going to say that these two look far better than the ones that come off it. Maybe I agree. Okay, so what I was checking there was the brake reservoir goes like that, the hose comes there. So that's the back of the bike, that's the front of the bike, so I want this little spring clip to be sitting there, like so. So the hose is sitting on a natural uh, curve, that's just because of the, the way that um, it's been, the way that it's been positioned um, when it's been sitting on the bike. So there we go. So look at that already, new clip, cleaned hose, cleaned the uh, reservoir, it's all these um, little steps in between what you're doing that will make the difference when the bike's finished.